Line 32, better than the rest. In this line, we're going to run into the quarter rest. And a quarter rest is very simply one beat of silence. We have several quarter rests in here. And uh, we'll have to be very careful because there's a, a quarter rest in here that shows up in an unexpected place. So we'll have to look ahead to, to not get caught by it. Let's clap and count together. Ready? 22. And here we go. 1, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Did you catch the second to last measure? There's a rest on beat 1 for the first time. And that one often gets missed by students. So just make sure you're looking ahead and you know that that rest is coming. A rest on beat one. All right, let's play line number 22 on one note. Let's do it on F. This will give us a chance to practice the articulation and the timing. All right, so every note is an F, playing the rhythm. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> So after you've practiced that a little bit, then it's time to name the notes and finger. One, two, name and finger. D, C, D, C, B flat, E flat, D, E flat, D, C, F, E flat, D, C, F, B flat. In measure three, you play E flat, and then your next note's a D. So during the rest, it makes sense to keep your first valve down and just add the second valve in order, and instead of lifting it up, only to press it back down again. That's called efficient movement, and being efficient is really important when you're playing a musical instrument. All right, I'm going to play it. You should fog and finger. One, two, ready. <laughs> I hope you used your tongue to start the air for every note. All right, time to play it. Ready? And one, two, ready. Uh. 